Scott Fitterer of the uh, Carolina Panthers spoke. Now, this is when you hold the first overall pick in the draft and the whole free world is is thinking that you're going to choose one guy over the other. And it went from as soon as they traded for the pick, it's got to be for C.J. Stroud. He's the type of guy that fits height, weight, the uh, Frank Reich mold, right? And they, uh, they dapped him up real good. I just said those words. <laughs> At his pro day, right? When they went around, when uh, Tepper Palooza, Air Tepper was flying all over the country from Columbus to Tuscaloosa to Lexington to Gainesville, all over the place, kicking tires, kicking tires, dapping up. <laughs> Everybody thought it's got to be C.J. Stroud. Now here we are, um, two weeks before the draft last week, now nine days before the draft, and it's Bryce Young. Everybody thinking that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. There's no chance on this green earth he's going to let anyone know between nine at uh, nine days out who they're going to choose. And they're kind of crazy because it's not like somebody else is going to steal him. <laughs> he's first up. <laughs> Can't get the zero. You pick. know what I mean? Like <laughs> basically, and there's no like back in the day negotiations. Like you're slotted. You get your deal. You can't hold out. Can't sit there. So. It's just basically he doesn't want to say because they may not know and they don't want to box themselves in. And again, Scott Fitter, this is a very important soundbite. You can't give anything away as a host of the NFL draft who wants uh, the drama. <laughs> Let's hear if this general manager did his part in helping build said drama by saying things without saying things. This is very skilled. <laughs> Obviously, through the, this whole, since February, the combine, everything else, there's been some clarity. But we've made a conscious effort to be open mind about this, be continuous throughout the process. Uh, we have our the last kind of group in today. We have the coaches, you know, Wednesday and Thursday of this week. And at that point, we'll get together and kind of make that decision. But there, we've got some clarity through this process. With that said, Scott, we saw yesterday that Bryce canceled his last visit. Yeah. Has there been communication to him that he's the pick? No, there has not. And, you know, that, that was a decision he made on his own, and uh, I just refer you to, you know, his reps and to Bryce as to why. Okay, I'm writing all this stuff down. Yeah, I can't, you can't speak to him canceling his visits. So what's the name of the house band I mentioned to uh, Dan Campbell? Specific generalities, right? That's... Uh, it's you got to speak in specific generalities when it comes to the draft. I believe that's what I mentioned the other day. Um, now we have the title of the album. Oh, yes. Specific generalities album. First album called clarity through the process. Or is that the title? Is that the title track? Clarity through the process. <laughs> First release. They have clarity through the process. Chris, whatever process you're doing right now, do you have clarity for it? Yes. Okay. Clarity. Guys, hey, listen, uh, I've been around this uh, league a lot, 20 years now, coming up this fall. If you have a process and you don't have clarity, you're screwed. I think they're taking Bryce Young now. What the hell's going on? I love it. Wednesday or Thursday, they're going to they're gonna cultivate this caper and they're going to choose. <laughs> Rich. It's coming. And, and by the way, whoever's in that room, Omerta, Nothing. Silence. Zero, which means they're going to have a choice for a week. How are they going to keep this quiet? They no, can't. not a chance, right? <laughs> no, no. Can't not a chance. Been. It's not a chance. The other thing important to remember: we are we are smack dab in the thick of lying season. Ah, everything everyone says is a lie. Hey, well, hold on. You can't believe no, anything. Not not what you're saying. What I'm saying right now is the truth. Understood. Is that everything is a lie? Okay. Makes so sense. So <laughs> it's a lie. If you believe it, though. It's not a lie. Oh. If you believe it. Right. So it's not a lie if you believe it. It sounds like Scott Fitterer totally believes he's had clarity through the process. But even if you believe it, it could be a lie. Nothing anyone says is reality. It's all smoke and mirrors until the commissioner says the name. Yes. Crew. When the name comes out, that's what it is. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You pick up what I'm putting down. I am. You smell what I'm cooking. I do. Absolutely. Okay. So first pick in the NFL draft. Yeah. The Carolina Panthers select. Cool. Yeah, that's, cool. that's it. And then you're like, ah. And the 
We'll know. There used to be a sports center anchor who couldn't pronounce some of the multi- polysyllabic hockey, hockey player names. names. So he would just, uh, he would just like, yeah, that's what it would be like. And um, who was it? Who was I'm not going to say, I'm not saying, I'm not going to say, but I'm just saying that wouldn't that be funny if that's what, but they phonetically spell it out for the commissioner. So that won't even be an excuse. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> could you, is it, you know, could it be possible CJ Stroud isn't the second overall pick in the draft because the Texans don't, Texans don't want to deal with his agent? That would be insane. <sighs> that would be positively insane. The fact that he so could like go guy, to fourth. Think about if you're the Colts. There's all this moving and shaking going on. You could literally just sit at four and get the guy you wanted the whole time. And the reason why you got him, and if CJ Stroud beats up on the Texans his entire career, just like Peyton Manning did, as you know, the Texans couldn't beat the Colts forever in a day. And could you imagine if the Colts use C.J. Stroud to beat up on the Texans and the Texans don't win those games because of C.J. Stroud and the reason why they didn't take him is because of who C.J. Stroud's agent is? Now, I'm sure there's a lot of bad blood between the teams and Deshaun Watson and, and everything going on, and I'm sure there were some very difficult conversations that got heated. But come on. Really? So... Well done, Scott Fitter. <laughs> Clarity through the process. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.